What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. Willis, and this is Waking Up Mr. Willis. First off, you already know, I want to thank the Most High God. Thank you for his protection and keeping us, guiding us, you know? Today, I want to talk about white supremacy, something I don't believe in, because I've never seen it. I never even really witnessed it. But one thing I always witnessed and seen it's black supremacy. With other blacks, is suppressing you. You know, I witnessed that. I witnessed black on black crime. Other black people's hurting other black people, shooting each other for less than nothing. You know, gang culture, black on black. Crips against bloods, black on black. I witnessed a lot of that. Well, other black males are jealous of you. Jealous of the woman you with. Envious of a couple of things you got that you earned. I witnessed that. I uh, um, even witnessed where I didn't work for all races, all races. Russians, I didn't work for Hispanics. Now I work for my own people. And that's why I got treated the worst in. By my own people. You know, not getting paid on time. Sometimes not even getting paid at all. I remember I went for this one guy trying to start his restaurant up. So I was like, okay, I'll mess with you. I'll help you out. You know, they had me on the schedule for six days. Six days out of the week. You know, when it's time to get paid, he only wanted to pay me for five days. Then he tell me that, oh, you got to take that up with uh, management or HR. And I'm like, you're the owner. Well, I got to take it up with them. So I was like, okay. So the next week I'm on there for six days. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm not going to keep working six days, bro, if you're not going to pay me. So I worked five days and I didn't come in on the sixth day. Now he tri tripping trying to tell me that I'm fired because I didn't come in on the sixth day, but you will not pay me for that day. Like, this is my own people. You know, and what happened to the restaurant? And it flopped. You cannot do to people like that and expect you to be above or to come up. Especially you treating God's children like that. It seems like a lot of places I go, it's just to witness things, to see things. Then God will push me somewhere else, move me along. Once he's seen what he needs to see, my journey continues somewhere else. Off to a better thing, a better place. So it's like, that's the supremacy I see. I see black on black supremacy. I see it and I witness it from my own people. And it's like, they always speaking about white supremacy, what the white man doing. When we are our own enemy, we are our worst enemy. We the reason why we still in this, this suppression state. You know, if we lift each other up first, we don't need to worry about white supremacy, you know? And I didn't never want to speak about the little shooting in Buffalo, but it was like, where are all the thugs at? Running around with guns, claiming that they this, claiming they that, they that. And no one could ride up there. No one could call their they, they cousin and be like, hey, somebody's shooting up the spot. Come through, like, because the ladies, they, they quick to call Pookie and Ray Ray so quick. You know what I mean? Let a brother say one wrong thing to a female somewhere in the store, liquor store, the corner. Go on somewhere. Watch how many guys she called to try to do something to him. I witnessed that. You know, I've been in a situation where other people I know and calls people and lying. And then you go down there and you find out they lying. Like, I witnessed that against another black person. I witnessed a lot of that. So I'm just saying this and letting the people know, like, we already know we are our worst enemies. So many of our people are so wicked, it's crazy, it's ridiculous. But the only supremacy that I've seen in my city, in my lifetime, is from my own people, from my family members, from friends, from foes. You know, you're going to have your enemies, that's their job but not from your own, your own circle. 
So that's the only supremacy I witnessed and I know of. You know what I mean? Like, we need to get up off that white man this, white man that. Oh, the police this, the police that. When we out here killing each other. Then when the police run down on us, we acting like, oh, it's, 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 a, it's such a big issue. When we so quick to hurt each other, quicker than the police, quicker than a white man. That's why we still suppress after 400 years is up. We need to get off each other's backs and lift each other up and help each other, push each other. You know, they might not like this video, but it's the truth. You know, this is the truth. We black on black suppressing each other. You know, so once we realize we are worst enemies, then we realize where we could start it. Try your best to show some love.